Finally, modern technology has arrived that a blind person can see. That's great. That's amazing. A mute person can speak. I can talk to you with my thoughts. And patients with Alzheimer's can keep their memories stored. This revolutionary technology is called Brain Computer Interface, BCI, and it will become a reality in the next two, three years. The first person to be implanted with the stent rod interface is the Australian Graham Felstead. His brain signals are transmitted to a sensor in the chest where a receiver forwards them to a computer. This enables Graham Felstead to chat and surf the internet using thought alone. A decade ago, three competitors took the vision to develop this revolutionary technology. The first competitor was two US scientists who had been working on a BCI chip since 2011. In 2015, they established a company called Neuralink. The second competitor was a company called Synchron, which started in 2012, which was a new startup. And the third competitor was Elon Musk, a one-man army. Now listen carefully, this is quite an interesting story. The first competitor had a vision for creating BCI technology and even had a catchy name for their startup. However, they lacked a business mindset and funding. The second competitor had a name, vision, technology, and even a business mindset, but was lacking in funding. As for Elon Musk, he had the vision, business mindset, and funding, but lacks a name and technology for his new startup. Furthermore, Elon Musk faced a significant disadvantage by entering the market four years later than the other competitors, which posed a considerable challenge in the competitive landscape. But then, cut to 2024, Elon Musk successfully implanted his BCI chip in humans. And with the help of this, you won't believe that a paralyzed patient is now able to play online chess. In fact, with the help of this BCI technology, he is going to make a pair of glasses that a completely blind person will be able to see. This technology is called the bionic eye. In just eight years, Elon Musk has gone far ahead of both Neuralink and Synchron companies. But how did Elon Musk do this? And what happened in these eight years for his competitor, Neuralink, to become a part of Elon Musk? Well, there is a very interesting story about this very promising technology. So let's start from the beginning. In 2011, the bioengineer of the U.S. Case Western University, Mo Sani, and the brain specialist, Randolph Nudo, together, came up with the idea of making an electronic chip that could repair damaged brain cells. Their idea was quite simple recording the signals of the neurons in different parts of the brain in their chip, and then replicating those signals in the damaged parts of the brain. By 2012, Moseni and Nudo were engaged in research on electronic chips. Meanwhile, another company by the name of Synchron, whose vision was similar to the vision of these two researchers, also came into the market. Now, naturally, Moseni and Nudo felt the competition. To win the competition, they completed their entire research in just two years, and made the first brain chip. They had complete trust in their chip, and that's why they successfully tested that chip on a brain-damaged mouse. They saw that due to brain injury, where this mouse was not able to go from one place to another, after the installation of this chip, it was able to move around easily. That means this chip was working. And that's why, after the successful animal trials of this chip, it was now the turn of human trials. For human trials, they modified their chip and made a new prototype. As soon as their new prototype was made in 2015, they registered it with a company by the name of Neuralink. But sadly, at that time, they did not find a single investor who was interested in this brain chip of these two researchers. In short, the situation was such that they had a product and a future vision, but no investor had the support to scale that product. And Elon Musk used this same thing to his advantage. In 2016, Musk also created his own company whose vision was completely similar to those of these two companies, namely Neuralink and Synchron. To achieve the vision of this company, he interviewed more than 1,000 candidates from the fields of neurology, engineering, and medicine, and selected the best of each field and formed a strong team of eight people. Now, these eight people were literally the masters of their field. And how do these masters actually look? To explain this, we want to show you their biodata. So those eight people were brain machine interface geek and biomedical engineer, Max Hodak, neurosurgeon, Benjamin Rappaport, who has a PhD from MIT, the world's second most popular engineering company, Bosch, 
and the chip designer and engineer Dong Jin So, the top IT company IBM's chip researcher of Paul Marola, the neuroscientist from Caltech University, Philip Sabes, the biology professor from Boston University, Tim Gardner, the researcher on flexible brain electrodes, Tim Hansen, and the neurotechnologies, Vanessa Tolosa. And this was the winning team of Elon Musk's, which he created himself. Now here you can see that Musk's strategy is completely different. If he wanted, he could have directly bought Neuralink's founders. Instead, why did he waste his time creating a different team? The main reason was Elon Musk didn't want to be behind in the technology race. Well, that is because Elon Musk knows if he invested in eight people, then these people will fill the gap between me and my competitors in a year. And actually, this happened. In 2016, Musk hired them. And within a year, technology was ready to use. If something was missing, it was only the catchy name. And now, any guesses about what Musk would have done next? Well, Elon Musk named his company Neuralink. Yes, the same Neuralink, which was also the name of his competitor. Now, Elon Musk says that in that name, his company's vision and his product's nature, both were captured beautifully. This name defines everything about the company without saying anything. But those who have followed the timeline of this entire BCI race understood very well that Musk was essentially trying to get rid of his competitor. Now here, brilliantly, Elon Musk benefited in two ways. As soon as Musk paid the founders of Neuralink and bought their name from them, he not only assisted them by funding their ongoing research, but also gained control of the entity. On the other hand, when Elon Musk was thinking of moving ahead of his competitors, his competitors were also thinking of removing him from the competition. So just a few months before acquiring the name Neuralink, Musk's competitors Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates began funding Synchron, which was established in 2012, so that they could move ahead of Neuralink. And they started getting an edge. The year Synchron received funding, the same year they successfully completed their animal trial, and by 2021, this company had also started human trials. Now, in this situation, could Elon Musk be able to win against them? Well, there seemed to be little hope because Synchron was already very far ahead in the race. There was just one thing missing, funding, and he had already got that. Yet, miraculously, the tide began to turn. So, as you know, in 2016, Musk made a team of eight people who made a chip in one year. And then after that, they started preparing for animal trials. The initial results of their animal trials were very high than the average performance. For this animal trial, they successfully implemented the N1 chip in the brain of a monkey. After that, that monkey was able to play a computer game using only its thoughts. In 2012, it took Synchron four years to complete his animal trials, whereas Elon Musk's team did the same thing in just one year. Now seeing this success of Neuralink, Synchron came into alert mode. And using all its resources in 2023, he successfully completed human trials. Now, this was a higher level than the animal trials, which brought Elon Musk on its back foot. Now, everyone was thinking that Elon Musk's Neuralink company had finally lost the battle. But then all of a sudden today, on the 21st of March, 2024, Elon Musk tweeted that Neuralink's human trials have been successful. In this trial, a paralyzed patient, Nolan Arbog, is now able to play online chess on his laptop with just his thoughts. Now, despite the complexity of this technology, its operation is surprisingly simple. To install it, the skull is first open, and 1,024 hair-like flexible electrodes on the chip are inserted into the brain. These electrodes then detect neural activities and convert them into binary code zeros and ones. After that, this signal is transferred to the computer with the help of Bluetooth, where the computer interprets and responds accordingly. And this is how Neuralink's test patient played online chess with just his thoughts. And according to Musk, this paralysis patient, much like the monkey in the animal trials, is capable of performing various complex activities. But I would say Musk will need to practically prove these claims because competitors are emerging in real time. Unlike the N1 chip, Synchron has developed a similar brain stent called the Stentrode. The special feature of this, there's no need for invasive brain surgery to implant it. Instead, this stentrode is inserted into the blood vessels surrounding the brain. The stentrode opens like this, and these small circles record the electrical signals coming from the brain. Then these signals are then relayed to a device attached to the chest. 
and after receiving the signal, another device on the chest, like Neuralink's N1 chip, converts the brain signals into binary code and sends them to the computer. So to sum it up, installing Synchron's technology is quite simple, and there is no need for any brain surgery. Practically speaking, this makes it more likely for people to adopt this technology, and that is why this technology can prove to be a commercial hit if Elon Musk and his team did not do anything. Plus, patients using Synchron's technology can perform a variety of tasks solely using their thoughts, such as making video calls on WhatsApp and tweeting on Twitter. This aspect makes Synchron's products seem much better. So is it a total checkmate for Elon Musk as of now? Well, to counter these, Musk recently announced that he is also creating a bionic eye with the help of his Neuralink chip. With this help, even a completely blind person will get sight and he will finally be able to see. Now this bionic eye technology can truly be a game changer. Because of this, Elon Musk remains in competition. Elon Musk's plan to create bionic eyes is quite simple. Completely blind individuals will wear layers of glasses equipped with recording cameras. Once worn, they will see their surroundings like this. The recording glasses will capture video of objects in front and transmit this data to Neuralink's smartphone app. This app will then convert the data into electrical signals and send them to the N1 chip implanted in the brain of the blind person. The pins of the chip will be inserted into the optic region of the brain. When electrical signals reach these pins, they will stimulate the neurons in the optic region to fire in a specific pattern, creating white dots in front of the eyes. This process will form an image before the eyes of blind individuals. Now you might argue that this image seems primitive. However, consider this, for someone who has been blind since childhood, there was no concept of light in their mind. Thus, starting with such dotted images provides a foundation. Over time, when these dotted images begin to form a reference point in their mind, then we can introduce more detailed images in their mind. If this solution proves successful, then with the help of this technology, we will be able to fix other disabilities also. Because with the help of technology, like BCI, scientists understand the brain and society in a better way. And you may not even know, but because of this, a group of scientists have created an artificial brain model in their lab. This artificial brain can distinguish between eight different male voices in 240 variations. So have scientists finally created a conscious brain? If yes, then how do they work? And how can we make our minds sharp with their help? I have the answers to all these questions in my mini brains video, which you can check out by clicking here. If you have learned anything new from this video, then do like it and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Till then, as always, stay curious and keep learning.